my name is Lisa DeFazio. I'm a registered dietitian from Hollywood, California. Today I'm going to be telling you how to make a very tender brisket. I know sometimes red meat and brisket can be a little intimidating, but this recipe is foolproof and will satisfy your entire family. So let me show you how we do it. First off, season your meat. So I've pre-rinsed the brisket. This is about a two pound brisket. And I like to add a little bit of garlic salt, black pepper, always good on meat. Seasoning salt, I kind of have this handy in the fridge to um, always keep on hand. It goes with a lot of different dishes. And some onion powder. And you can also season it on both sides if you like. Um, I'm gonna be adding a lot more sodium with a flavor packet. So I like my uh, meat a little less seasoned. And uh, this is the secret ingredient. This is an odd juice packet. You can find it at all the major markets. And it's so simple and easy and makes the tender brisket that much better. So what you do is I have two cups of hot water here and put it in a measuring cup. And what's nice is to also use a two cup measuring cup so it's really quick and easy. And all you do is simply add, this has all of the seasonings in there and the goodness that's gonna add to your brisket. And you're making kind of a bath for the brisket. And then you stir this up, let everything get incorporated. And again, the flavors are delicious with this. And the key to making the tender brisket as well is we're gonna keep it covered. Okay, and then we simply pour it on over the brisket. I usually pour it around the brisket because you don't wanna wash off all of those other seasonings. Beautiful, smells so good. This is really nice for a family dinner. And again, it's gonna slow cook, so you're gonna have the afternoon to do whatever you need to do. And then the key is to cover it. So we're gonna cover it with some foil so all of that juice stays in there and it stays nice and moist and tender. Cover it up and we're not gonna take the foil off until it's done because we want all that flavor in there. We want it to steam up really, really nicely. So typically we bake this at 350 for two to two and a half hours. If you have a little extra time in there, don't worry about it. It's covered, it's gonna be even more tender. And as a general rule of thumb, it's about a pound will be one hour of cooking time. So this is two, so we're gonna go two hours, maybe two and a half. If you have a three or four pound brisket, three to four hours at 350 in the oven. And that's what you do and you're good to go. So I do have one that's ready to go, and this has been cooking all morning long. And this is what this beautiful brisket is going to look like. I love this dish. Look at that, smells, wow, smells so good. So you see how it's nice and brown on top, and sometimes if there's a little more fat on top, you do wanna cook it with the fat side up. So if there's a little bit of fat on top, then you can simply slice it off, but slice it off after you've cooked it, not before, because that's where all the beautiful juices and flavorings are going to be. So what you can do then is slice this up. What we like to do in our household is take some really bakery fresh rolls and open them up, add a little bit of the juice, a little bit of the brisket, and you have some delicious brisket sandwiches. Now leftovers the next day, I cut the brisket up saute it with some tomato and onion or salsa and serve it with some tortillas and you have soft tacos. So this is a beautiful way to have two meals in one. That's all for today. I'm Lisa DeFazio. For more tips, check out my website at lisadefazio.com. I'll see you guys next time.